Hey, I wanted to quickly show you how to change the background opacity of an image in Squarespace 7.1. You can see this image is a little light. I'd like it to be a little darker so the text is more readable. Uh, so this is in an incognito window. First, I want to figure out what elements I need to change. And it looks like Squarespace is already putting a little bit of an opacity. So I want to find that opacity in, its, in the code already. So if I pull up my inspector here, hover over the HTML element that I'm looking to do, make sure I select the right one, this section background that looks like the right thing that I'm looking for, it's hovering over, it's highlighting the entire area that I want to change. Then this, this div looks right, it says div section background overlay, right? So I click on that, scroll down, you can see section background overlay. Uh, it has an opacity of 0.125. I could change it right here in the browser just to make sure this is what I'm looking to adjust. 0.25, yeah, that, that's looking a little bit darker. Yeah, 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 so this is it. That's what I wanna change. I wanna change this CSS section background overlay opacity. So I'm gonna copy that, come over to my custom code here, my other screen. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom so I can overlay opacity. I always put that in there so I know what the code is doing and overlay opacity and I put the code in between so I could just paste it in there. And so that, but that is going to change the opacity of all of them. So, and that is clearly way too dark so I'm going to do 0.5. That looks about right. And then I want to just select this first element. So I'm going to go to my collection ID here. Copy that collection ID, hashtag collection ID, throw it inside these little curly brackets because that's what we do. Now it's only happening on this page, but it's also happening to that bottom image. So what I want to do is use a, a Squarespace, they sort of, 7.1 is a lot more confusing with this back end. You don't have those index pages where you can say hashtag this page, hashtag that page to select it to just this top element. So I'm going to use um, something called a pseudo selector. And I'm going to go, I'm going to grab this section. I want it to really just do it to this first section up here. So I'm going to grab the section. I'm going to say section and I'm going to say, uh, let's do colon because that is how you start one of your pseudo elements. Section, um, um, let's do nth of type in parentheses one. Let's see if that works and then put some curly brackets around it. Uh, do, do, do. And there we go. It's only doing it to this first section. And if you wanted to do it to the last section, one, two, three, four. I think that's the fourth. No, maybe the third. There. See? So I could do change that. So you can just change that and that'll bump it around. But that's how you do it. Overlay. Hope that helps.